The background is out of focus to make the eagle stand out, and the pastels are layered on very loosely. There is no need to do a lot of smoothing out, as we want it to be blotchy to give the impression of lots of leaves in the distance. Use a dark grey pastel for the deep shadow areas, and work the pastels to just over the eagle outlines. Plot all the overhanging sections and use a dark brown pastel for the underpainting. Dab all the small leaves on with a dark green and a light green soft pastel. The main lighting is from the right. The colors for the tree trunk underpainting are light burnt sienna and a brown. Begin the head with a yellow and white pencil and go over to a black pencil to plot the eye and beak outlines. Use a green pencil to add some of the green surroundings that reflect off the white. Lightly add the shadows of the lifted feathers. Take your time working on the head as this is the focal area of the picture. The technique here is to lightly smudge. Do some more lines. Lightly smudge again to show the softness of the feathers. Do this over again until you are satisfied. All the feather edges are drawn in with a white pastel pencil. Plot them in a reasonably accurate and the bigger the painting the more accurate you must work. Stroke a light layer of black over the body. And you can see why I've used the grey paper instead of the white. Lightly smooth the black so that some of the grey paper still shines through in places for the lighter areas. The body has a brown tinge to it in some areas, so we touch up in some light burn sienna and smooth out. And use a blue pencil to add the sky reflections off the feathers. Continue to add in some of the smaller feathers with the white pencil. And continue with the background and it is much darker here to contrast against the light colored branch. Add the moss covered twings with a few white spots for the highlights. Do all this with a dabbing action. Block in the very light browns and build up with a darker brown until a very dark brown is added for the deep shadow areas. Smooth with the fingers as you progress. And once you have done all that, you can start on the detailing of the branch. Keep referring to the reference photograph as you work on the branch. And there is no need to copy all the details exactly as per the photograph. Complete the foot and claws with the yellow, black and white pencils. Add some more shadows and highlights to the branch. Complete the branch at the left and darken up the tree trunk, leaving a lighter strip on the right hand side. Now roughly smooth it out and draw in the knots and stroke in the roughness of the bark. Roughly stroke in the small shadows and highlights of the smaller pieces of bark as well. Layer some viridian and black for the very dark green lower vegetation. Smooth out and continue to add the ends of the hanging strips. Don't add too many highlights in this area as it is in the shade. This area is mostly dark. Smooth the black of the wings and add the blue shine to the top of the feathers. The definite white lines in the tail contrast beautifully against the dark of the branch. A few touch-ups and you're done. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint-along version of this class, head over to our website onlineartlessons.com Thank you for watching.